All right, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a countdown to give me a chance to to like edit properly. Um, mm -hmm. And so you can look into the camera for those who have a camera and give like an image or something. I don't know. So three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Press Restart Podcast, the number one podcast on the interwebs, video cast, game cast, everything cast. Uh, I am your host, Carl MF. Glad to be here. Glad to see you all. Wink, wink. Um, joined today is none other than the the extra motherfucker right there you see in the corner clayton clayton how you feeling dude we lit baby we just got this new game um <laughs> called neon abyss uh it's still actually open right now neon abyss is actually pretty fun it's on sale on steam right now that is not a sponsored uh reply but great so far. although it can be sponsored if you out there listening to us Wevo. I think that's the game company. Hey man, hire us. <laughs> that game is also on Game Pass, right? Game Pass PC, Game yes. Pass Xbox. So yes. if you are into um, that style of video game, uh, actually, it looks cool. What, uh, what style game? It's a roguelike. It's yeah. a roguelike, but it has oh, okay. the graphics um, similar to uh, Cyberpunk. It's a uh, neonish, like that neon abyss, like it's in the name. It's really good. It's great art style. Kind of reminds you of that uh you remember road company that that the glitch dude or whatever his name is it, it's just mm. like that that's fair he looks literally like glitch and uh for those unaware uh to the game world lingo a roguelite is a game uh in which you start and you are expected to die quite a bit <laughs> but as you die or before you die rather you get some skills and uh eventually you get strong enough to get past everything in right. one fell swoop but if you die, you typically start from the beginning. You're going to keep dying. Yeah. Trying to. <laughs> uh, so Hades was the most recent rogue like that I played, actually, on the, mm. on the Switch. It was, it was dope. Hades. Yeah, Hades was dope. Uh, the music was fire, too. Uh, but that voice, that lovely baritone voice that you all keep hearing, Daniel Boy. Daniel, welcome. How you feeling, man? Good. I'm good, man. Uh, feeling great this Friday. I'm glad I got off work early. Oh, that's right. What you been playing? Uh, playing? Not really much. Uh, I've been having Riders. my <laughs> dreams crushed a lot, man. Yeah, Out Outriders and then uh, Scavengers. That when it's oh, early God. access. And I, I bought that. That was like 25. And I can't, can't even play with friends. I think they recently what? fixed it. So I got to hop on to see if it's actually fixed. And... Uh, well, I've been watching a lot of people play Resident Evil. Like, I don't know, I I be a, I turn into a Resident Evil nerd when a new Resident Evil movie or game. Yeah, yeah. I Resident really like the story. The, the story this time around was mine. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause <laughs> I, I won't even yeah, play good. the games, but oh, yeah. I will watch videos of like hmm. all the collectibles the, and all, watch the, all the cutscenes, like the lore and, and, shit, yeah. the lore and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, Marco does that actually. That's funny. Um, <laughs> I'm more. I don't know. I've always. I just like to play the shit, you know. There, but there are some games that I would rather watch all the cutscenes for. Like for example, I. I know this is gonna get me. Uh, you know that image of Keanu with all the guns around him, whatever. Gamers up in arms. Uh, <laughs> but I. I didn't really care for The Last of Us. Um, so I didn't. Either. I didn't really. I didn't, play. I didn't feel like playing it. So I watched videos about it uh, or <laughs> playthroughs on it. Um, and the story, whatever. But um, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we're not just gonna play it. Okay. That's whatever. The to me. story is whatever. That's yeah. it. I thought, I thought two. it was a, I thought one I haven't watched two yet uh, but I thought it was a really interesting uh, plague I did think that that was uh, because it's based in realism that that uh, parasite that mushroom that fungus rather is uh, is actually a thing uh, whether or not it can control a person uh, I'm not sure Megan my seat is from Resident Evil let's calm down <laughs> but uh yeah I, that's just I, I never got into the last of us um 
I don't know. I was just over white male protagonists at the time. And that's that's all I saw in Joel. Uh, Ellie was very minuscule to me in the story um, up until the end, of course. Uh, I won't do spoilers just for those who still haven't played it, but I mean, it's been a decade, but whatever. I, I, was, anyway. I was about to say, we got to, <laughs> I mean, after like a year or two. Yeah, right. I think it's fair game too, but um, for the sake of moving forward, let's just do that. Uh, so we have uh, an interesting docket of topics for you all today. We're going to be talking about uh, our biggest or most like an emotional roller coaster that we face watching an anime or reading a manga, uh, however you like to take the question. Uh, following that, we're going to do our top five Pokemon of all time. And then we're going to end out the show with our gaming wishes, something that a game that uh, is fun to us that we would like to see come back in some capacity. Um, But first, I would like to ask you all. I know you love that sound play. What is the (laughs) what is something what is a message you have for your ex? Thank you. And when I said when I say X, the the first one that comes to mind, uh, Clay is thank you all you'd like to say. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dude. Uh, uh, oh, it, oh, we can like was Clay, Clay not? Uh, I mean, you can uh, say what you want. Oh, oh. Um. Well, wherever you are, Jemaya, I guess this is a nice message for you if you decide to um to watch our podcast. Uh, I thank you so much for um your contributions to my life. Uh, I really hope that you're happy right now. Uh, it's a bummer that I I don't have your number. I can't talk to you. I can't I can't express how I feel to you. Um, even if I cannot be back with you, I mean, um, regardless, having you as a friend and knowing that the person that you were was enough to bring out the person that you actually saw in me and was able to actually bring that person out is just kudos to you all around you know what i'm saying uh I, like i said I, I don't have a chance to say that to you um i don't have your number you changed it uh, i don't have you on snapchat uh i don't get on facebook i have you on facebook but i tried to message you before and you never reply so you know clay that was very ariana grande you know that thank you Next. But, uh, <laughs> no, 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 not thank you. Next, no, 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 but, no, uh, no, that was really sweet. Just, no, it was sweet. I, I really I, I appreciate, appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate and I didn't it. expect to go that route, so thank you. That's what's up, yeah. yeah. Uh, Daniel, did anybody come to mind when I said that question? A message for your ex? Uh, I really a specific person. My message would be to multiple people, and I guess it would be a uh, my bad. My apologies. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you know, yeah, my bad. Uh, I would like to say, especially in the last year or two, I say two. You feel me? <laughs> I've every day become a better and better and more self-aware and a uh, person who's become more aware of the feelings of others and the surroundings and everything and so definitely looking back it's a lot of things I would have did differently that when I wasn't when I was more closed minded and focused on certain things I was moving in ways that obviously hurt people feelings so that's very mature that's what's up Mm -hmm. Um, self-reflection is a huge part of our life's journey and uh, typically relationships can help us you know realize some of our faults sometimes you know if we with the right people um, that's a thousand so that's what's up uh, I'm a I actually <laughs> I was thinking about this in a different direction uh, J. Cole mm-hmm. once said uh, she fuck with small town niggas and I got bigger dreams and nope. that's about all I'm gonna say about my last <laughs> ex. Uh, <laughs> so that's my message to all right, I know uh, who small she town is girl. <laughs> Do we, you still got the dog? No, nah, she. I get. She had the dog. I bought that dog for her technically. So. Oh, oh, I thought. Wait, and he fat I thought it was as the hell other way now. around. I thought she mm. bought the dog for you. No, nah, I bought the dog for. Oh no, no, no. She did buy me a dog though, and my mama still got it. 
I okay. love that dog. He's he's really great. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Excellent dog. But yeah. Man, um, rip that laptop, though. Man, y'all made me think, though. I would like to thank my... I've only really had three serious girlfriends. And this the one that I'm with now is the third that I considered my serious girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, that first relationship, again, I, I would agree with you all. She helped me realize... I mean, maybe it was afterwards or towards the end, but she made me realize how much better I could be towards other people, uh, specifically in a relationship. And um, I don't know, that's just something I, I, that just always stuck with me. And I've been trying to <sighs> keep, don't forward, cry, bro. keep moving don't forward, cry, bro. you know, she, I uh, know that feel, bro. Trust. Nah, she, it was cool. Don't cry, bro. It was a, it was a good time all around. Um, it, but Speaking of emotions, no, it's cool. No hugs, bro. Speaking of emotions, <laughs> we can move on to our first topic of emotional moments in animes. And this could be taken in a bunch of different ways, too. You know, there's not just two emotions. Uh, so, Daniel, I'm going to start with you, my boy. What, yes, sir. what anime moment or series or just anything um from the manga anime whatever got you emotional so i'm the type of person that's never been into slice of life and romance stuff so typically those sad heart touchy moments i i laugh at or (laughs) they it's just a mess with me so the stuff that really get me going is those like I hate that like oh I want this person to die like please somebody <laughs> off this, this is one the... mother like you <laughs> hear me so um recently the most recent one has been Shield Hero to do that for me oh boy um Shield Hero made me hate so many people for so many different reasons throughout the whole show <laughs> but in particular as anybody who has seen it will know and for anybody who hasn't seen it if you watch it you are going to hate the king's daughter oh my god and you are going Bro. to hate her and that show like does her. perfect the perfect job of making you absolutely <laughs> despise her Fucking and Jerk. man like yeah that they they really made me build up a extreme hatred for her. and um uh ty would be from my favorite anime hunter x hunter um when gong saw uh what's your mccall get killed i'm i'm so mad i'm oh, drawing a man. blank on the on his name right Kite. now Kite, yeah boy. Kite, 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 Kite got Kite. killed by yeah. pizza and then the whole art you have him trying to avenge him and think he can revive him just to find out there's no right. way to revive him. You finally get to see him let all that rage out like that. That was a good moment. That was a very I good forgot moment. about that one. She she turned his ass into a puppy. And yeah, he... Puppy, he, bro. he Damn. Yeah. That was messed up. <laughs> Sounds for Pat Boy. had to turn into a grown man to give it a beat down for that one. Yeah, that was an <laughs> epic ass scene, too. Yeah. Oh, Pito was a boy. P2? No, P2 was the cat girl. So it's yeah. actually different. In, in the manga, it mm-hmm. is... I think in the manga, it's a boy, but in the anime, they made it a girl. Oh. Or it's either reverse, one of the ways. But basically, it's different. It's a girl and one and a boy and the other. Now, you think, was that... You mean the 1999 version to the 2010 version? No, He's manga. Or, manga or just the manga in, the, in the manga, yeah. Okay. Just manga, the manga to, to the anime. anime. Nice. Because the 1999 version, <laughs> you get to the those Kamar, uh, Chimera ants. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I never checked out the other one. Um, Yeah, that's messed up. So it, it, you said that first show is called Shields and Swords? Shield. Shield oh, Heroes. Shield, Shield Hero. Hero. Shield Hero. Legend so of the Shield Hero. Is something. Shield Hero the, like, the characters that they've set up to be assholes? Uh, typically in writing shows, they make it so like all of those characters have a redemption arc. Do you see that coming for those people? Or? Oh, oh, no, no. There are characters who are just, they're, they're just assholes. I mean, 
Honestly, it's it's actually anime, so I'm never going to put it out that in season two, anything could happen. They might actually start wanting to be helpful, good guys now, you know, once they get exposed, you know, from being assholes. But uh, uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I feel like a lot of them, they could stay permanently assholes until they just written off. Mm. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, thanks, my boy. Clay. What anime or manga moment or series got you very emotional? Uh, spoilers. <laughs> gotta gotta say spoilers. Um, try to keep this about a minute to, to three minutes long. Might skip forward if you still see me talking. You know what I'm saying? It's not over. It keeps getting forward. Uh, the ending of um, Darling in the Franks. The ending of Darling in the Franks was super emotional for me um, because the way that they built up Zero Two and her pilot, I forget his name, the way they built them up, it was just, it was immaculate writing for a short anime. Um, it was a nice, a real nice love story um, for the amount of action that they had in the actual anime. Um, but the ending was really, really sad, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was a, sad but good ending you know like and that really had me <coughs> you know what i'm saying like i was literally just like i'm not crying bro with my clean <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah that uh that ending was definitely um the one that gave me the the most uh the most amount of tearjerkers i think i've experienced i think the a good follow-up uh a good follow-up would probably be ReZero. ReZero. I had to consult my list here because I would say ReZero because ReZero is the craziest emotional roller coaster ever. It's psychological anime at its finest. You thought The Promised Neverland was psychological. I think I used that one as one of my recommend recommendations. Yeah. ReZero so is a Darling psychological. And the Franks, right? Darling and the Franks is. That was your recommendation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah that, was my, that was my recommended. And like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, ReZero is an emotional roller coaster, bro. Like, you will see this nigga up, like, yes, yes, like he winning. Then it's like, no, what the fuck? At? Why? Like, you will feel just like that. And I'm telling you, it's the truth. It is a emotional roller coaster. So um, you'll be up, you'll be down, you'll be sad, you'll be happy, all that for ReZero. But that's still my runner up. Uh, if you if you're looking for a tearjerker, really nice story, darling and Frank. Okay. It's crazy you name the two shows that I actually like that uh I got into them both actually. I got into ReZero for the like comedy aspect and I saw it was one of those uh ones where you know the genre where people get reanimated in different worlds. So I was like, uh, you know, I'll try it and then I actually ended up liking it. Come and on. Darling and the Franks actually had me, you know, tearing up too, you know, toward at the end and everything. And uh, I got into that for the action, for the fight, and I saw it was Mex. And then I was going to actually drop it. And I was like, you know what? I'll finish it. I already started. Yeah. Mm. Worth it. It was worth it. A thousand percent. It's a great anime. Like, it's. Yeah. Great anime. Um, what about you, big dog? I want to know what yours are. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate those recommendations and moments, boys. Uh, I actually have an honorary mention as well. And uh, that's just, without spoilers, Demon Slayer for me. Demon okay. Slayer, uh, if you are a manga reader, you know how much heartache <laughs> is coming in the anime. Mm -hmm. And um, it just, it like, they make such cool characters and then just <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. And um, <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, um so the De Demon Slayer would be my uh my honorable mention, but my actual one actually has Slayer in the title as well, and that's Goblin Slayer. Oh no, I, I don't know if y'all saw anime. that G I didn't finish my, it. My I emotion I seen it. My emotion is disgust. <laughs> See, oh my fucking god. If you, you watch the first episode, the first episode, oh, I yeah. just oh, drew. Yeah. If you watch the first episode, <laughs> oh my god. 
Just, you just, say this. Just the first 10 bro, minutes. Bro, bro it's like, actually disgusting as fuck. I, I won't even... I won't spoil the exact thing, but it was very anatomically correct and disturbing and disgusting. Um, (laughs) I actually really, I I still have the image in my head from this, this, this scene. And I saw this anime for four years ago now, I think. Mm -hmm. And I only watched the first episode. That's the only episode I'll ever watch. Uh, Goblin Slayer. Don't watch you it. Only watch. Whoa, 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 bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. bro. I didn't like the anime either, bro. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, look, I didn't finish I either. Whoa, I didn't want to watch that shit no more. No more either, bro. <laughs> I two ep- I was, I was two episodes after the first one, and I was done with it, bro. That's <laughs> wild. Goblin Slayer is actually it's pretty good. It's, disgusting, it's actually it's disgusting. pretty good. Uh, disgusting, like bro. it. Oh, that's crazy. Y'all ain't never read no reviews for it. Like I, I don't want to. I didn't want to. I, I want didn't want to do that. Anime. Anime. <laughs> I don't want nothing. Wow. I was just wow. out of it, bro. I was completely it's, out of it. Um, that's crazy because everybody else I know, like they was watching, they was like, "Damn, that's fucked up." But you know, they was they was laughing. That's know? what they laughing. No, gee, that's when I checked out. That yeah. I can't. I couldn't. Uh, and for those who need a little bit more information before watching it on their own, it is extremely sexually graphic. That's graphic. all I'm gonna say. Did they even Disgusting. censor the shit? Like, no, not at all. They didn't censor a goddamn thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But moving on to our next topic, something that also may be uh, emotionally uh, ravaging for us, and that's talking about our top five Pokemon. Uh, so I actually put together. I'm gonna go ahead and go first. Yeah, yeah, you go I first. Got, I'm definitely yeah. like picking because I I'm, I'm just writing them down. like I'm, I'm I have them moved over here because like I have mine but I just couldn't remember their names. For sure, for but sure. I, I'm definitely ready now. Uh, so I'm gonna share my screen here in a second for those who are watching and those audio listeners. I'm still gonna uh, tell you who those Pokemon are, so don't fret. Um. Carl MF's dream team top five. Mm-hmm. I made a whole slide. that boy made a, I made a, a slide for the no, So y'all know I'm a teacher. I can't help it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, first off, we're gonna go with uh Lantern. Lantern, uh just by design, I thought was he was my favorite Pokemon in that generation. Uh he came out with uh gold silver and crystal or whatever mm-hmm. and um i just really liked him i liked his typing i liked his ability to absorb either electric attacks or water attacks mm-hmm. uh he just he's a really cool looking pokemon um as a swimmer i always consider myself like if i if pokemon was to ever become real i would be like a, a water gym trainer <laughs> so this Makes would be sense. this would definitely be my type my dude Makes sense. lantern uh no, next up Oh shit. We got 10 minutes. It's okay. Uh, we're, we're closing over. Yeah, we'll close them off. All right. So uh next up is another he's semi water. I, I don't guess, remember that. His his official typing is Poison Dragon. His name is Dragalgi. Uh I just really liked his design. Um it was it's a piece of algae that's <laughs> <laughs> sentient with uh dragon abilities and uh I don't know. I always liked him. He's super skinny in the uh, the games. However, he's powerful as fuck, and his typing makes him like a problem. So he's mm. definitely my top. Another water type, Electros. I like his look. Um, it's just an electric <laughs> yes. eel. It's just an electric <laughs> eel. Uh, I it like it. Slick as fuck. Yeah, and and the the games. He's like he's swimming up like this, uh, mm. but. In the anime, he actually walks on these little fins right here, which is TV actually one. disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Electros would be my next one. And uh, I really fucked with Desi Dude. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. Is he on yours too? <laughs> no, Rowlet is. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Rowlet, Rowlet's cute. But I like Desi Dewey so fucking much because he has this special uh, power move. Desi Dewey. Yeah, I, I do. It. I do. Right. I don't think I'm saying it right for those who are listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he has this the special uh, move called Spirit Shackle, which like was the That's dopest the animation in Pokemon uh, for moves that I've seen in a long time. Uh, plus, you know, ghost, ghost in grass is not common 
So I really liked him. I liked his look. I liked that he was an archer. Yeah, he was definitely my top, my top choice last generation. Um, before I get into my last one, my honorable mention is going to be the Hydreigon, the whole Evo line, uh, <laughs> Zuelos funny, and Dino. I like them. Um, he turns into a three-headed dragon with no arms. His arms are heads. Our heads. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I really liked his look in the anime. He was super. He was actually kind of uh, intimidating, which doesn't happen very often in the anime because they make it for kids, right? So right. Uh, I like Hydreigon a lot. My last one is another creepy Pokemon, and it is Mimikyu. <laughs> Mimikyu is sick as fuck. So he like dresses up as Pikachu, but underneath is like this shadow Pokemon that just fucks stuff up. Um, Bro, the, the cool thing about that too, I, I know you're talking about it, but like the cool thing too is that his tail is a staff. I didn't. Is it a staff? That's his, that's that. a staff. It's a staff. It's his staff. That. I just that's what's cool about it. <laughs> uh, I know in the the. The games, though, he's very strategic because he can take a hit for free, which makes him and dangerous as fuck. Right. He, he's <laughs> like, this little puppet, <laughs> this puppet figure, his, uh, it just falls to the side, and then you can start attacking him for real. Um, so as far as strategy goes, Mimikyu is definitely my one of my top Pokemon. And those were my five. Well, my six, technically. Um for the sake of time, for those who are listening, we're going to cut right now and come back very soon. So y'all about to get ready. Uh, welcome back to Press Restart. We are continuing with our top five Pokemon chat with Daniel. Boy. Daniel, who's your top five Pokemon, man? All right, man. All right, man. Before I get started, let me <clears throat> ask you a favor. Can you share your screen? And you know, go yeah. to Google Images, my boy. Hell yeah. I can also provide you with a list of all the Pokemon and Pokedex. If you need. Oh no, that's, I'm good. I'm that's good. That's excessive good. clay. But uh <laughs> 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 all right. This is how my research for today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start with Rayquaza. <laughs> Why don't you play Early and Soul on fucking League? What? Cause he ass. Yeah, but exactly. if you Rayquaza hopped on my fight, favorite shiny you ever. would know I play my boy uh Cuckoo 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 You mean uh Cusco? No, in- Emperor oh Kuzco. Crap, crap on nah. Yeah, but no. Uh, Rayquaza is definitely uh, his shiny form is my favorite shiny form of all. The, the shiny form, his mega clean, form. Man. Yeah, and mega form is like sick too. yeah. Very clean. Just growing up, like at least in my neighborhood. Well, I feel like in all black neighborhoods, legendaries was a thing, but it's just something about M Pokemon Emerald. And Rayquaza, like, if you had a good Rayquaza, you was kind of that dude. Yeah. And uh, so, this is always one of my favorites from childhood. The yeah, next yeah. one will have to uh, be... Before you move on, though, finding oh, yeah. him was the best surprise ever. Yeah. Yeah. I was exploring. Yeah. Like, I didn't yes. watch no video. You know, that yes. was before YouTube was, like, huge. So, mm-hmm. man, yeah. that, was, that was the best surprise ever. I remember yeah. That tower, boy. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, my bike sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Chat to use the fucking yeah. mic bike and shit. Right. <laughs> so who's next? <clears throat> the next one is Gengar. Mm. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> now, I always like ghost types. <laughs> ghost and dark <laughs> types. <laughs> <that shit too>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, Gengar. Man. Gengar is another one that, like, his mega form is cool. His little giant dino uh, form is, is cool. Uh, yeah, he's just a strong. I've always liked Ghost and Dark types, and he was, like, one of the coolest types in 
uh, his attack set is cool, and he's just so strong. I always like some of the strongest Pokemon, so mm-hmm. that's always just made him made me like him. Yeah, big facts. And he was him and Hunter was funny in the uh, the animes. Oh yeah, they definitely were. Yeah. yeah, hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, so my next one after that is gonna have to be my boy Garchomp. Garchomp, nice. Garchomp, I remember Garchomp. Yeah, yeah again, sick. following with the string. <sighs> Another super strong Mega Evolution. I'm strong. Yeah. He's just a broken. strong, <laughs> broken type. Like his moves is ridiculous. His IVs are ridiculous. Like. Uh man, I just I love this Pokemon that are super strong on the games yeah. for battling. Yeah. Garchomp, disgusting Pokemon, no cap. Especially for fucking battling. Plus, his design is just sick. It's you know, cool they're, they're, it's like they're, a shark they're, dinosaur. They're, right, their shark, evil line shark is shark sharks, like a shark jet. Shark, really, right? right. That's what it is. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Super bright. Yeah, uh, good choice. And uh, Cynthia, that, that's what made me like Cynthia, because she had Garchomp. That was her baby. And oh, that's when wow. Mega Garchomp was revealed in the, the anime with her. Mm. So, next one, number two, as a close Four. number one, is Shedinja. Mm. Shedinja? <laughs> what? Hey, actually, that, that, that Pokemon now, is kind of annoying. That, there's a specific reason why I said this is not only number two but a close number one is because I remember so vividly in childhood using Clayton's Game Shark (laughs) to mod because Shedinja had an ability called (laughs) Wonder right? That made it where somebody could only be hit by attacks that are super effective, right? And so that his game shark allowed you to mod things, right? And what it, it allowed you to change the type, right? No, it allowed you to change the ability. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, the could, ability, change, yeah. you could change it. And you put it on. Oh, yeah. You could oh put it on gosh, Sableye. Right. Sableye yeah. isn't weak against anything. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, Sableye wouldn't get hit. So Shedinja <laughs> always stood out to me because of that ability. Like I always remember Shedinja and Wonder Guard. One HP. Yeah. <laughs> Legend. Big facts. And the way to get him was very unique. And I don't think yep. they repeated it again. Um you had to like level up this level guy up. to level 20 or whatever and have an empty slot yeah, in your right. team. Like it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a good yeah. choice. So and who then, beat out Shedinja? My number one for me is not gonna it's not gonna make no sense to y'all or anybody else, but this is personal. This is personal. My number one is Duong. What? Dugong? Oh, it does make sense to me, damn it. Of course it makes sense to me. This was the silver days when we had the level 100 Dugong. This, this was Pokemon Silver. Bro, when I used to spend hours and hours and hours every day actually playing, no cheats, no, no, no none of that. Trains do on I actually bro. trained Duan. It was my first Pokemon. I trained myself by hand all the way to level one. I remember Duan because you we duplicate the shit out that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> what the I remember Duan. I don't know what that is. You need to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, Dugong is a hell of a good choice. Um, while he does look basic, he's super sick uh, mm-hmm. and just fun in the animes. Um, strong in the the mon- or in the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good choice. Dugong was definitely that Pokemon. I remember that. I definitely remember all of that. Yeah, Dugong helped me beat Lance back in the day. <laughs> A dragon ass Pokemon. <laughs> Hit him with the ice moves. Oh man, remember when a war beam and hyper beam used to sound like that that weird the, sound? The same thing. Uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it was so ugly. <laughs> the same exact sound. Yeah. I used to play with my sound off, so <laughs> I like all of them. I don't like, like the, video the Pokemon games, noises. So. 
I like mm-hmm. all the shit. All their cries and shit. Yeah. Oh man, wonderful, wonderful. Um, um, moving on. Thank you, Daniel boy. Clay, are you gonna share your screen with us? Yeah, there. All right, bet, bet. All right so we, let me say, if it allow me to share the screen, right? Hold on, make sure I got to make sure I click this. All right, bet. Share screen two. Boom. We sharing it. All right. Hey. So my number one. I'm starting from number one and going down. <laughs> number one, Trico. 100%. I have had a level 100 Trico. I've had a level 100 Grovile. And I've had a level 100 Septile. And I've ran all three of them in my party at one point. Okay. I love <laughs> I love Trico for some reason. Bro, Trico's design is so cool. If you see him on an anime, he was so nonchalant. Just didn't yeah, give a fuck about shit. Bro, like, this nigga would fight stuff that he could not fight. It was the... It was, it was just... Trico was that nigga, okay? Like, I'm sorry. Trico, favorite of all time. I fuck with Trico. Trico will always take my number one spot when it comes to favorite Pokemon of all time. Trico, over Sceptile, over Grovile. Trico, favorite Pokemon of all time. Number two, my second favorite animal (laughs) of all time. And now, mother people will will think, why don't you have the other one? Um, What's the name? Nah, or not Nocturne. Oh, no, nah, not nah, Nocturne either, because fuck both of them. You mean Hoodoo um who was ugly? Yeah. Noct- <laughs> Noctowl was very ugly. Okay, I'm sorry. But anyway, owls are my second favorite animal. And Rowlet was adorable. I'm sorry. Rowlet was so adorable. When I saw Rowlet, I did not want to ev- evolve him at all. Like Decidueye yeah. is a cool ass Pokemon, but when I saw Rowlet, I was like, I don't wanna. I want to evolve my Rowlet, bro. Like, I got to get stronger, but I don't want to evolve my Rowlet. I kind of like this fucking Pokemon. I mean, he got a bow tie. Like, no like, God, it's on. a leaf bow tie, yeah. bro. He, he swagged out. It's just a little yeah. ass work. Bro, if Pokemon yeah, was real. That's why, I, that's why I picked Desi I Dewey. Evolve this mo- I would yeah. not evolve this motherfucker. I promise you. I, I have a thing about not evolving Pokemon. You're going to see the list. You can kind of see the tabs already. But, yes, Rowlet. My number two, second favorite animal, first favorite animal is, it's otter, okay? I know the water type is not here. The water type in the same gen, I think it's the same gen, is an otter. Uh, I forget his name. I don't care about it. Fuck him. Yeah. Poplio. Poplio, there you go. I think that's his name. Then, number three, Grookey. I didn't really like the Switch uh games the sword and shield i didn't really like them too much Whoa. but i still played them and i fucked with Gorky. i like the design like when they had the um you know the little cutscene that shows the pokemon in the beginning mm-hmm. when you first can pick them like i saw Grookey, i was like i'm picking him i'm picking Grookey. Yeah. i'm sorry i'm picking Grookey. i, pick Grookey <laughs> I saw him hanging from the tree and, and being silly i was like i'm picking Grookey. It's just literally a reincarnation of me. Like, I'm not trying to say I'm a monkey, so you know, that's racist. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but I fuck with Grookey. I fuck with Grookey a lot. I like Grookey. Grookey is definitely my favorite. Now, number four is only because it just falls in line. I'm sorry. But just like Daniel, well, not just like him, but Totodile was one of my first level 100s. Not for alligator, not crocodile. <laughs> but Totodile, bro. <laughs> Totodile was like, I fucked with Totodile. He was so cool to me. Like, the little, the, the, the adorable little crocodile, bro. Like, I fucked with to- oh, Bro, I fucked with Totodile so much. I got him level 100, and he was so weak. But, like, having to hit B after every evolution, just like with, with Trico, like, I don't know something about Totodile. I just like Totodile. He's just adorable. I don't know. I, I, I guess I got a thing because they're all adorable. All the starters, yeah. And they're starters. <laughs> they're all starters. Yeah. That's the crazy part. You know, I no, actually the starters really like for designs. alligators. Yeah, they're for alligators, best. sick. I, Typhlosion was actually going to be on my list. The, yeah, Typhlosion yeah, he was, was sick. He was my first pick on gold, but silver and crystal, I picked Totodile every time because. Nobody likes Meganium. Meganium was trash. It's like, no cap. Yeah. Like, so bad. bad. So <laughs> like, bad. No one that shit. Yeah. So, yeah. And then my number five is Axel, man. Axel is adorable. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, like look, he turns into this ferocious ass thing. <laughs> but he's so adorable. Look at him. I remember, uh, what's her name? 
uh what season is that it's the it's the, the little black girl um on the season she always holds an exu but yeah. I, you guys will know if, if since i'm describing her but she always has an exu and he's he's just adorable it's an adorable pokemon i don't know i just i like adorable pokemon i would have literally a room full of first evolution adorable pokemon i just like they're they're amazing but honorable mention tune in next week for clay's uh, Pokemon plushie <laughs> collection. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> my honorable mention is Ferret. Um, I had a really weird like addiction to like ferrets at one point. I wanted a ferret like really bad, but I saw how bad they smelled and that kind of went out the window. I think that's when Ferret uh fell out the window. I had a I know one of my uh in my prime party I had a ferret level one hundred and total dial level one hundred. Um. And I just, I, I fuck with ferret, like, a lot. I really do, because I really like ferrets. So, yeah, ferret was definitely my honorable mention. But he definitely fell out my top five, because the best Pokemon are already here. Yeah. So, yeah. You do got some cuties. That but uh, hearing about your team growing up, man, I would have bodied Joe ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. See, that wasn't my battle team, okay? That wasn't you, my battle uh... team. I had Very a, I interesting had, trainer. Bro, I learned. Okay, look, look, look. I had, I had two strategies, two strategies, and I don't play the Pokemon game, so I can say them out loud, bro. Two strategies. One of them I got from the Battle Tower, and the other one I learned from my boy Carter, bro. The first one, Shuckle. Now Shuckle would have been in this list, but Shuckle was the tankiest motherfucker out there. Still you, come, is. You, you throw him out. <laughs> yeah. You throw the toxic. You throw. You throw. The spikes out, then you throw the toxic on, and then you just tank shit. You use recovery, recover, recover yeah. every fucking time. <laughs> That's all you do. You tank shit, and if you can't use recover, you use rest, and you tank that shit out. You have a citrus berry. Was it citrus berry? What no, berry? I forgot the exact it was the, one. But it, it was, was the berry that woke you up, woke so you, you get up. a free a free wake up with a full replenish health, and things are just dying to toxic. That's it. And then they keep trying to attack you, but they can't kill you. Mm -hmm. And then every time you get low, you hit rest. And then you wake up after those three turns, and you should still be healthy. But if you can't, all you got to do is switch out, and you bat and pass back to that motherfucker. <laughs> it was the greatest strategy. And then with Ninjas yeah. speeding up the team, and you bat and pass to him, it made him faster. Oh, my gosh. But the bat and pass strategy goes into the Scizor one, the bullet punch Scizor, Dream World um, bullet punch Scizor. Oh, my God. It boosted attack moves that had 40 or less damage technician or like yeah. technician yeah technician that's what it was oh, and dude, man bullet, bullet punch scissor with with a three stack with three stacks of sword dance you just wiping all teams that's yeah, just yeah. it's just a busted ass combo so yeah uh, those are my two strategies th what was the other speed punch mock punch was that it mock punch right yeah. mock punch Mo mock punch bullet punch that's all you really needed on his ass <laughs> if you had technician um big facts so, thank you, boys. Uh, we going to take that nostalgia train right into our video game past and talk about uh, a game series or just a game that maybe never even got a sequel that we would like to see come back. And um, I can kick us off again with mine. And uh, this was a game that uh, was very important to me on the GameCube. Uh, it was called Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Damn, I remember uh, Gauntlet. I, just I that shit fucked with arcade. this game so heavy. Right. It started Damn. off in the arcades. It came uh, to consoles, both X, well, all three, uh, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube. Mm. It was just so fun. It and, was fun um, as hell. I ain't going to care. It was this something was that me and my cousins would always play. Um, I would even play it solo, even though it was more fun co-op. It was just a – it was – I just really wanted this game to come back. And then they decided to bring it back. And it was trash. I don't know how <laughs> I played it. But Gauntlet was so bad to me, at least. It looks like um, it looks like Diablo. It, it played more so like Diablo, honestly. It it was not the same thing at all. And um and actually like I said, it pissed me off. I hated it. <laughs> um, so that's something that I would love to see come back. Uh, specifically the Dark Legacy version. In mm -hmm. doing a little bit of research for this uh, episode, I actually found out that Dark Legacy is the sixth one in the series. There were five games before this one that I had no idea about. <laughs> yeah, um, I uh, used to play the older ones. I actually 
grew up watching my brothers play, so that made me play. Like, I played on the Sega Genesis and mm. the old arcade machines and whatnot. Yeah. And these were like special. I remember the special costumes that you can get back when games <laughs> came with f- everything in everything them, no in the microtransactions, yep. no pre order bonus, mm, no live service. You just beat the game, do some special shit, get some special shit. I don't understand why that isn't a thing anymore, but it, developers, please get your shit together and bring it back. Um, yeah, Gauntlet would be my game that I would want back. As far as a developer to take on that project, I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I would like this game. <laughs> this one specifically. Uh, thank you for hearing my rant about a 2001 <laughs> video game. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to Clay. Clayton eating them nasty ass cheddar Pringles. Come on, man. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me, my Damn, the game was just in my head. Oh. All the old head gamers, I'm 28, I'll be 29 this year. Look, if y'all ever was on EG Games, I, I didn't even know that's how you said it at a certain for the longest time. We used to call it IJJI. <laughs> IJJI.com had one of the greatest lineups ever. That's why I was introduced to guns. Uh, it was on one of our other episodes, we kind of talked about guns towards the end. Um, if you want to hear about it, go ahead and go back and watch one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'll, you'll get addicted to them. You know what I'm saying? They're great. Um, that and then um, that's where I got introduced to Hooch Blocks. Hmm. Hooch Blocks. Now, can you bring that up on screen, bro? Because I, bro, people I'm, underestimate I'm, I'm, I might need a Hooch little bit Blocks. of help spelling that. Hooch? O-O-P-O-O-C-H space Blocks. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm show you exactly how I spelled it first. <laughs> I thought you said hooch. Oh, no, 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 no. But then no, hoochie no. mama came up and all oh, it is trash. Oh, <laughs> get that oh, shit oh. we gonna get demonetized. Yeah. Oh, We're not monetized <laughs> anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you said Please. pooch? P-O- yeah, pooch space block. block. Oh. Blocks. Blocks, blacks. not blacks. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh my gosh. Pooch uh, Blocks. What's up with y'all in these bejeweled ass games? Bro, okay, look, look. <laughs> Pooch Blocks, Pooch Blocks was the first, like, um, it was the game where you, you like, you click to match, you know, well, you click and match, um, kind of like, uh, damn, what's the game on mobile? They got a bunch of them on mobile. Bejeweled. Yeah, almost uh, like that. So, so if you look at the, the screenshot Candy that's currently Crush. on the screen, yeah, yeah, you look at the one that's currently on the screen, like you see what the, the red cross down there is, the bottom is, you know, say so you would click that and then it'll break all of those and then the blocks will fall. The objective was to try to clear your board or clear as much of your board as possible before the other people that's competing with you were. So it was like the first like Tetris 99. Almost. I was just about to say that. Yeah. It was almost like Tetris 99, except it's not Tetris. It's it's like Bejeweled or something like that. I don't know if there's a competitive game out there like that now, but this was a multiplayer like kind of pooch blocks. And, and it, I mean, not but it's kind of like Bejeweled. It was multiplayer and it was so fucking fun. Like it was some of the funnest shit you ever played. And I was like highly addicted to it. It didn't have no microtransactions and had none of that. It was just straightforward pooch blocks. Oh, yeah. Hit that YouTube link right there. Hit that YouTube <laughs> now, link right this there. This will for real get us demonetized. <laughs> no, it's not, bro. Look. Wait, was, no. It, I, I have it. I don't have it sharing videos, do I? I think. Uh, well, wait. Doesn't it share sound from your screen? If you share a screen? Yeah, but Zoom, like, you can't see the screen, can you? Yeah, we, I can see it. Oh. And I can hear I can hear your your aesthetic monitor. I am... Use I am staring the game. Unsealed. Okay, I don't. You, you can you can actually use the video. Uh, you hit this. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you see, that's how you play. I play this game a lot. <laughs> but this is how the game played. Views. Yeah. This is how the game played. But you used to be able to play versus other people, which made it super fun. Yes, click the blocks at the top, and it's done. Oh, that dude's trash. Yeah. And yeah. get them all. And he's playing single player, so. <laughs> But yeah, you used to be able to play versus other people, and there was no microtransactions. You had to get the most amount of points. You got to try. You get bonuses for clearing fast. You get bonuses for um, 
for having more score. It was a lot of things you get bonuses for. But yeah, push blocks was was amazing. Oh. Actually, for his time, it was actually very far ahead of his time. Yeah, I'm sure it inspired uh, those games like Candy Crush and stuff. Yes, hundred percent. Okay, interesting choice, Clay. I see you, uh, Daniel boy. Round us out, man. What game would you want to see come back or series? Uh, I'm glad Clayton said push blocks because <laughs> I was so stuck on like a console game. I wasn't even thinking computer. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm not gonna say specifically a game. Bring back. I want to say make make a sequel to some MMO. Or just bring back good. MMOs because there are just none right now. Everything's yeah. either pay to wow. win or it's like the only reason they have such a big community is because it's so nostalgic. Like wow, it's like or, or uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it's like I don't know. We we need some good MMOs out here, man. And mm-hmm. it's like it's none and it's ridiculous. Like by the way, game designer that wants to create a very good MMO that everyone will love, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit us up. We got ideas. We got ideas. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, fucking, but Guns, for instance, since he brought up Pooch Blocks, Guns was on that site. I love to see a Guns remake that is more similar to Guns, guns 1, one not, not that Guns, guns 2. 2. BS. Yeah, Basically, what you said with Gauntlet is what happened with Guns. With Guns so, too. Mm, yes. Yeah. Destroyed the game. Yeah. Uh, what it. other games I like? I I really used to like um this little game called Luminary that was also on IJJI. Like man, I used to. It was a little chibi game kind of, but it had little fighting aspects and you could elect uh, Donzo or something, I think, which was like the president of, of the, that server and they could control taxes and stuff. It was a little cool little game. But um, little all types of little old MMOs I used to like. like Just, I, I don't know. Bring back MMOs that make you feel good and have a fun time and smile and laugh while playing them. Not the shit that we fucking dealing with today. I not think about like damn Money. man, this yeah. this next how much do I gotta put out of my next paycheck so I could keep up with keep this up with the fucking so content I, so I could do this and that. Oh, I remember Luminary. So this uh yeah, I could see how you know feel good, cutesy type of yeah. And this is game. something I was playing like. You know, way, Luminary. way back. Luminary was definitely fun. Too. Oh, Gunzu. I said Donzo. It was the Gunzu. Gunzu. Yeah, so Gunzu was the title of, like, the president or whatever. <laughs> and you get elected by the server and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that shit was great. Was and now it's See, like when you get elected, like so when you buy stuff from the store, you get taxed. The go- right. the goons who determines the taxes on stores, right? And he gets the tax, like whatever the tax is, that's what he mm-hmm. gets. That's what he would be. But Hell see, no. one thing I want to interject is like when it comes to the MMO market, a lot of game developers probably understand this and and wholeheartedly, deeply connect to what I'm about to say, but the companies that host them, that publish them, are the ones that corrupt the devs as a whole. When I say, if you make a game that is likable, that is great, that people will recommend to other people, that is playable, that is not broken, that has regular updates, that that listens to the community the game will make money as long as it's not paid to win and i promise you that but publishers and hosts of games they are so money hungry that they put the most pay to win shit in the game that makes the game unfun or makes you feel like you're left behind if you don't spend money Mm -hmm. they have time gated shit where you have to pay to get past that time gate. It's just all greed at this point. And that's what I'm aiming to break 
with my MMO that I want to create because I want to create a game that people like, that people want to play, that will recommend to their friends and family to play. Because at the end of the day, if your game does not have pay to win aspects to it, if your game was just like MMOs, uh, not MMOs, uh, League of Legends model, where the game is basically it's fair as a playground based off the balancing that the game had that the that the company does but all the cosmetics is what you pay for then if you go that route or you go the route of convenience whereas you limit convenience like say for an example right say for instance you have dailies but you also have a job and you're you have kids and stuff like that make it where you can pay for convenience versus paying to win convenience would say okay Three of these seven days or three of these five days that we have dailies, you can pay for. But the other two, you have to make up yourself. You see what I'm saying? Or have someone else do. You know what I'm saying? You can pay for those three days and those three days will be knocked out for your dailies. Or you can choose those three days that, that can be knocked out. But the last two days, since you're paying for convenience, you have to make up yourself versus a player who can do those five dailies or those seven dailies themselves. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like developers want to do that but the publishers do not allow it because they're money hungry it's terrible it's a, such a toxic thing that kills games and they don't understand that shit and that shit pisses me off because i want a good mmo too i wanted to love destiny but fuck bungees and the execs like i hate it I absolutely the hate it. The fact that you can pay to transmog. That's what I'm saying. That bro, so did you see but the breakdown quick, post? For Clay. Bro. We just, just got to give you a round bro, of applause like, for your like, rant. Oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> even a side rant. Even a side rant, bro. Like, oh, did you see that post that they, that they made on Destiny in the Game? The dude talking about how long it takes to, to get fully transmog all your characters. Mm -mm. It takes six days and some change. <laughs> Six days and some change. What the fuck? To change the way my character looks, I have to play the game for six straight days? Yeah, that... that what the fuck? Who thought that was a good idea? Out the gate, you should have been like, this is kind of absurd. I'm not even going to cap. You know what I'm saying? Isn't what there you... three currencies to yes, trans to Three transform? currencies for what? one transform? <laughs> what the who yeah. thought that shit was okay? And Bungie has the shittiest track record where they come out with some shitty design, they fix it, and then they get praised from the community for fucking fixing it. Why do you fuck it up the, out the game? <laughs> what, what the fuck? Do you so not they get the praise for fixing it. What it you don't mean? make sense, though. It does not make sense. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, I hate, I hate it bro. This is, the, this is my main drive for wanting to stay in school and to actually compete in the MMO market because you can make a good game and it not be fucking shit. Like, they don't understand that you can. You don't have to make a game pay to win for it to be fun. You don't have to make it where people have to jet forward to fucking enjoy the game. Even if... You want to make an easy raid mode just so someone can feel accomplished for completing a raid. You can do that. Bless that person because at the end of the day, his gear, if it's not pay to win, is not going to affect this person's gear. And this mm. gear is not going to affect this person's gear. You see what I'm saying? It's about learning. It's about introducing new people to these things. It's about getting players to want to do these raids versus having the anxiety to not do them for, out of fear of failure. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I hate it, bro. I hate it. I'm sorry. I hate it. Yeah. That's my rant. That's my tangent. I'm gonna stop. I'm no, passionate about that. Rightfully shit, so. I'm like actually yeah. tearing up about that shit. I hate it. When I your game come it. out, G, it's uh, I'm sure it's it, gonna bro. change uh, some developers' oh. practices. I hope so. Like, I really do hate it, bro. Yeah. Publishers fucking suck. People who are greedy for money fucking suck. Okay, if you have a good game, please just understand. If you have a good playable game that's not pay to win, people will pay for cosmetics if they look good enough. That's what you put your crunch time into. You put your crunch time into making your content look so good, good enough for people to want to buy it. Just why you have black consumers that buy Louis Vuitton, that buy Nikes, that buy Jordans because they look fucking good. If you put that same practice into game design, I swear to God, you'll get a lot of people to pay for more shit than they would when they pay to win and they quit the game because they're too far ahead. Right. Or too far behind. Right. Or that. Yeah. That's like, why I, I stopped playing Destiny. Like, I fucking hate it, bro. I hate Big it. Fans. I hate it. I hate it. I fucking um, hate it. So switching gears, we actually <laughs> let, let's talk about some highlights from this week, just to uh, to calm calm ourselves, maybe get back our zen. 
for the moment for our audience yes. as well. Yes, please. Uh, so we, as we uh, exit out, well, round oh. out the show, let's just talk about something, you know, beautiful that happened to us this week, whether it was um, literally anything, so, something that made you smile. So uh, I'll go ahead and start it off. Give uh, Clay some time to breathe. <laughs> um, Excuse me. Man. Oh, boy. I went on a hike yesterday, and um, it was really relaxing. Uh, I I wasn't – like, I was just really in the moment. Um, I didn't bring my headphones. Um, That's good. That's good. Yeah, I just I, – I, I really had a good time. I spent maybe, like, two hours hiking yesterday, and uh, I made a rock tower for the first time. It was all cute and shit. <laughs> <A rock tower>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just stopped and – yeah. Uh, so that's my highlight from the week. Uh, again, I haven't been working, so I've been trying to keep myself busy, and hiking helped scratch that itch this week. I'm about to fly to Colorado, uh, Okay. So, Daniel, yeah, man, you should. So, Daniel, boy, what uh, what's your highlight of the week, man? Something that um, made you smile. What? Shit, honestly, let's see. Uh, I guess it would have to be booking a flight for this trip <laughs> since I had the thought to think like, oh, before I book, let me see if I have reward points to use for a flight or something since I got this Visa credit card, you know, a while ago just for stuff like this. And turns out I had you know, almost just enough points to pay for my flight nice. to Miami and back. Yes. Um, that a similar story actually happened to me a few weeks ago. I, I came back to Chicago to surprise my mom for Mother's Day, and I I had canceled so many flights with Southwest before through due to COVID um, that I had like I just had like I don't know like four hundred dollars in. in vouchers or whatever so, uh yeah i just use that for my trip uh clay man what's your uh, highlight of this week something uh not, not mmo related maybe just, <laughs> uh my highlight of the week uh actually happened today um i finally found somebody to buy my old pc uh as you guys know or as you guys may not know uh, i have a brand new pc here um and i have my old pc and i was just selling it off for up and i finally found a buyer for it i sold it for around 700 well 700 dollars, not around um and the guy was really nice you know he was he was happy about it he still has my information if he has any other questions regarding the pc it was a uh overall well transaction you know so um that made me happy and then to second what Daniel said, I'm happy that I finally have my flight. Everything is paid for this this October. My trip is paid. My flight is paid. My Airbnb fees is paid. And I have all the money I need saved up for when I get souvenirs on the trip, when I buy liquor, when I go gambling on, in the casino, all that straight. That's beautiful, man. That, that would make me smile, too. Yes. Uh, I'm excited about y'all trip, actually. Uh, I'm super excited. I know y'all asked me last October, I think it was, <laughs> damn near. <laughs> um, but damn, it's, it's coming up. Uh, do you think y'all have to have, like, a vaccination card? Or that I don't know right anything? now. They're not saying anything about that i don't think no employers are saying anything nationwide that i know of and no cruise lines are saying anything okay. so i just want to make sure all right uh so that about rounds out our show for this week uh i'd like to thank you all for tuning in this far if you are still here thank you i love you i appreciate the support uh what we all do um so yes. before we uh sign off really quickly let's just go through our socials just something maybe uh you could check us out um after the show or in between shows so you know my all of my social medias are under carl mf uh most of the time carl mf underscore um that's on twitch twitter and instagram clay where can we be where can we reach you uh you can reach me on twitter um at I'm different but spelled backwards. It'll be in the uh, description below, but it's all caps 
I'm different, but spelled backwards. I'm underscore different. Um, and on Twitch, John Tom, I be standing. The letter I, the letter B, standing. All and over. he has a, a a standing army in Discord. So be sure to join that uh, that Twitch stream. Maybe standing you can, army. You can get in that uh, the exclusive Discord family. Daniel yes, Boy, what uh, where can we find you? <clears throat> you trying to hit me up find me for any reason you can hit me up on twitter at t-h-a the you feel me realist r-e-a-l-i-s-t and uh that's the best place to hit me up for anything now and uh yeah give me a reason to update it <laughs> i know that's right Dude. all right this has been another episode of press restart thank you so much for joining in uh if you would like any merch that is black empowerment such as this let black man be chubby like myself <laughs> hit me up or well, hit up tailoredforus.com uh thank you all so much for this episode peace out I hey why you need a bonnet Clayton instead because, of a do-rag because the, the okay so do-rags <laughs> they hurt like they leave that imprint and what like I no matter how tight I, if I leave them like loose they fall off when I'm asleep if I leave them too tight then they leave that that mark or whatever the fuck and then it turns into like a I guess a zit or something like that a bump wherever the fuck the the oh. line is like it turns uh -oh. into a bump like that's why these lines are like right here because I used to wear do-rags like when I had oh, my oh, twist before, I used to be real through. sensitive. Yeah, yeah. And it'll turn into a it'll turn into a bump because it's too tight. So I slept like that the entire time. I don't know. That happens. Yeah, to get um. And I have these, uh, just like that thing you saw, like these. So this, the elastic part is just it's Alexa, turn on bright. Sure, no. it's too dark in my room. I'm blending in the back. Alexa, hi. Turn on bright. That is me, you black. Okay. Look, you see how the elastic is just like all deformed? And then it, it this like is stretched out, but fat man. Right, like legit. Like it just <laughs> it just, just deformed, so I can't do anything about it. Uh like I well, have a bunch I just of these. posted that shit in the podcast thing. Uh, that's something you could order. You could work out in those or sleep in those. Those protect your hair. It has a rubber band, so that imprint. It's a silicone band, actually. So mm -hmm. it helps sweat. It wicks sweat, so sweat won't go down your eyes or eyebrows when you work out. And you could sleep in it because it's a breathable, protective fabric. And then it's a small little tie in the back so you can tie it, but you know, it doesn't tie too tight and it won't get too tight around in the edges of your hair. Alright, I just made an order for them by now. And... I bought <coughs> like three of them. I bought them to, for working out, but I tried sleeping in them instead of a do-rag and it was actually pretty good. Sometimes what I'll do is put on a do-rag, but I won't tie the do-rag. I'll put the do-rag over my hair and then put that on over it. Mm. I want to buy a big-ass bean, bean bag for my room, <laughs> too. Okay. You should. I want to. Yeah. <laughs> As a baldy, I ain't got to worry about none of that shit, though. So. <laughs> what you mean? Y'all uh, never put on the silky or nothing? For my, for my beard. Okay. I can dish. <laughs> I condition my beard and shit. That's a that's about as much hair care as I gotta do these days. That's what I want so bad. Like I I wish that my hair could get longer and I could have long locks in a beard. But... I could get that shit that um, uh, what's the name got when you get the phone, bro? That shit that uh Mayweather got. Oh, if I ever get the money, I'm definitely doing it. I'm getting yeah, I'm getting a beard implant. Like what the fuck? <laughs> that's what he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got that bitch nice too. That. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is nice. You can he get hair like, implants. He look like somebody uncle now. Like, <laughs> like no cap. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I I still be uh, you know, I still got insecurities about the baldy, but a lot of girls, include you know, my girl, most importantly, like it. So whatever. Oh, yeah. Now that it always seemed to work out like the people who could grow beards like crazy like the full full beards they always end up being bald okay 
Well then, Work maybe out, Marco everybody. Marco gonna lose his hair too, man. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker beard thicker than mine. Uh, uh, but um, let's go ahead and get started. This timer is gone. Clay, what you uh, eating? Um, cheddar cheese Pringles. Ew! <laughs> I'm the worst Pringle flavors. G, what? I got the regular one over there, dude. Okay, so they go regular barbecue, regular sour cream and onion, dog shit cheddar. You got me. <laughs> wait, what a wait, wait, wait. What a jalapeno. Then the only ones I thought about. What, what, what a jalapeno. What a what See, a. Actually, I haven't tried the jalapeno ones. The jalapeno. other ones I had was pizza. I ain't really like the pizza. That's just nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. Um, I think that was a buffalo one that I actually kind of fucked with. Uh, I didn't get that one. I would say the hierarchy is uh, sweet and sour, cheddar, regular. That's my top three. I say no barbecue, more. jalapeno, I the, I sour cream. Cream. I already ate the sour cream. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm eating them in the hierarchy. They deserve to be eating it. <laughs> so what you just ordered like a bulk order from Amazon? I want some gas station yesterday. Thought I can get my get my drink. My drink. All right. So let's get it. Uh, Clay, you gonna change your lights? Oh yeah, cause you bright. Well, I, I was. Well, it, it well I'm just trying to me. figure out cause they look good. My lights are. You know what? We going blue today, but we gonna fix my blue scene, so that way the lights are on. <sighs> That's good. I'm gonna get some fancy shit like that too. Yeah, I was just gonna wild. say that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Real Bruh. wild. laughs> I was just gonna say I can't wait until they you know my room things. is put together so I can start ordering all this stuff and putting it together. Yeah, I know that's right. You uh, so you said they're doing renos. Uh, is it the whole house or just your yeah, room, the, the basement? Yeah, the whole thing. That's what's up. Should make it feel like a new place, honestly. Yeah. Um. 